First pitch away. Squirts loose. Castellanos storms home. The shovel. He's safe. And Castellanos right in the face of Woodford. And now the bench is empty. This divisional rivalry game, Castellanos took exception to getting hit by a pitch. And Woodford being held back by his teammates as he repeatedly points at Castellanos. Now the bullpens emerge. Everyone spilling out, enjoying. Thankfully, seemingly no punches thrown yet, but the emotions continue to ratchet. Interesting. Cannon wanting to bark out toward the mound. His catcher, Suzuki, right there. I like that from Kurt Suzuki. If you're going to go out and say something to a pitcher, He's coming out of the dugout. Here come the halos. So it is a little giggling. smile. It gets through. Almost picked off Tim Anderson, who's going to go all the way to third. And the throw is a little late. And down to second, Eaton is out. Oh, and he pushes the shortstop of Ed Rosario. And now Cesar Hernandez gets in there. And here come the benches. This is what the Indians might need right here. An early wake-up call on the south side of Chicago. Yeah, it was, uh, they better get eaten out of there. It was 6 nothing last night, and he went to, to, to bunt one pitch, and the very next time he got hit, they better get him out of there. Mateo gets hit with the first pitch. Like, he hasn't been hit enough lately. Here we go. And now they're going to talk. And now we're going to fight. An epic battle tonight of two heavyweights. And a discussion starts after Mateo was hit. Santana said something, and the bench is empty. Now the bullpen's joining the party. Rizzo. Slider swing and a miss. Strike three. This crowd gets behind AG. Strike three on the slider. And now Garrett is barking. At the Cubs dugout, and both benches empty. Baez wants Garrett. Garrett wants Baez. The bullpen's empty. Baez hurdled the padded railing and came onto the field in motion to Garrett. Come get me. Contreras saying two times, and now Narvaez and Contreras is upset. He's gotten hit in the head, and he's gotten hit in the back. The bullpen's empty, the bench is empty. Jason Hayward ran out as a as a peacemaker and made sure that things started to settle. Go to break, a little bit of a dust up as Marcus Stroman and Josh Rojas started jawing at each other after Rojas made the final out of the inning and both dugouts emptied. Marcus can get under people's skin. This is a Diamondbacks team that's lost 14 of the last 15. They're obviously very frustrated. No punches thrown, just a lot of milling about. Franco oh. gets hit. Yeah, well, I'll like tell it. you what, yeah. kid. And Manoa comes charging in. Yeah. Orioles bench yeah. coming out. Brandon Hyde trying to hold his guys back. Now here come the bullpen. Well, you know, you just field. don't want guys getting uh, suspended. That's all. Back-to-back well, -back yeah. home runs, and then you get drilled. Pretty suspicious. Yeah. Brandon Hyde yeah. trying to be a peacemaker. Well, and the only reason you're out here is because you got a young pitcher that, tell you what, it, you threw them. You know, yeah. the major league hitters are getting paid to hit home runs. If you're going to be bad, if you're going to throw balls down the middle. Two skippers yelling at each other. Oh, oh my goodness, it hit him in the helmet. Oh, wow. Jose Abreu got hit in the batting helmet. And it's 6-4, but that's not important right now. Jose just got drilled. And now there's some barking going on at home plate, and they're going to empty the benches. But look, Abreu, Abreu is still woozy, and now the benches have cleared. This is the second time Jose Abreu has been hit by the first pitch tonight. 
And so while everybody else spills out, Jerry Naren got in there. It's six for his socks. And, and the question is from Josh Fallon and oh, wow, Tony La Russa. Tony La Russa is irate. He went out right away. And the three two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Alvarado found the strike zone at the ends. And he's yelling at Dominic Smith. Oh, he threw his glove away. The benches are going to clear. Alvarado's being held back by Alec Bohm. Alvarado better be careful. I don't know what happens if it was the time that was called yep. a few moments. I think that's absolutely what he got excited about. He said to point it to his eyes, and it was as if he was trying to throw his timing off or throw it, throw it out of rhythm or something, or at least Alvarado thought so. At least we're just speculating now, but yeah. that's exactly what it looked like happened. Well, he is one heated man. Not going anywhere, one two pitch. Broken bat, ground ball, around the horn, boys. There's one, and there's two. Q Jimmy Hendrix for nothing. Perfect uh, timing on it all, but this way, you know, after losing the first couple games, Dave, well, we got some issues down here. They're still upset with Graveman and Kendall not backing down from any of them. So well, just a few words at the end of it. And they can save it till uh, the time the Mariners yeah. go to New York in August, five, six, seven, and eight. They'll have plenty of time for a little schmooze. Staying away from him. And going away, but he lines it to the first baseman, Alonzo. And Stroman and the Mets escape. And now, look out, hold on here, hold on everything. Nagoski and Stroman, and here come both benches. Either Nagoski said something to Stroman, Nagoski didn't like maybe Stroman's, whatever it was. Here's a look. Nagowski frustrated that he didn't get a hit and didn't like. And Stroman. Like that. In the deep left center field, and this game is tied! Santa Maria! And look at Stanton taking his sweet time. Oh, he got some chippiness. He's talking to Lindor. Oh, now it's on. Everybody's out on the field. Stanton answering back to Lindor. Umpires and coaches are doing their best to defuse the situation. Here come the bullpens. Oh, boy. Very above average major, major leaguers, so that Kiermeyer said is a dangerous thing. And now Barucki hits Kiermeyer on the first pitch, and it's just natural to wonder if this has anything to do with the yesterday and the, the card that he picked up at the plate. You knew nothing was going to happen in a meaningful moment, but with the Jays down six in the eighth inning, Kiermeyer is sure wondering. If that was intentional, Kevin Cash sure thinks that was intentional. Especially in front of this guy who hits a lot of. He's on runs. his way. Haas is throw. Got him. He didn't get him. What a throw! That Again. takes care of business. And now some John and look out. A uh, Donnie Brook about to ensue. I haven't seen this in baseball in a while. Now it is going. Now the bullpens are coming in. Someone's got to calm down Alex Lang. It's Arnie Byler. He went hard into second base, and Nico Goodrum stood his ground. A.J. Hinch 